YouTube what's going on it's John John and I'm back again with another video first off I want to say thank you to all the new subscribers that I got since the last video I officially jumped from 107 subscribers to 108 now with that being said today's video I have like a little story time I guess you want to say um, I'm saying story time just so I can put that in the title and get more views but today what we're talking about is my um, high school basketball experience so starting off in my last video um, I talked a lot about how I used to uh, work out and things like that and why I stopped working out and this story should sum all of that up. Basically, I've been playing basketball for, since like fourth grade, I believe, or third grade is when I just started playing in the driveway, you know what I'm saying, doing whatever, whatever out in the driveway. But then like fourth grade is when I started getting on teams and uh, started playing like actual basketball or whatnot. But yeah, since then I've always played like every single season. Uh, I think I mean, it was maybe fifth grade. I started fifth grade and then I played sixth grade. And then I played seventh grade um, when I moved to where I live now. On the like the set, they usually have like the seventh grade team for the high school. If they do that in your district, you know what I'm talking about. How you, like you're in seventh grade, but you play for like the high school team or whatever. So then I played on that team, and every year I've always been like a starter. I've always been a good player or whatever. I've always been. Uh, I'm. A, I think I'm a fairly good basketball player. We can roll the clip. So yeah, I feel like I'm a fairly good basketball player. But going into ninth grade is when um, like I really was like starting to like take it seriously. I was like, you know what I'm saying? I've been watching a, a lot of like basketball on TV. Oh my God, why are you just open the door while I'm doing the video? Ooh. What were you finna tell me? Can you edit it? No, this is all going in. Oh my God, I ain't got no clothes on. You're in. You just still gonna stand there? Oh yeah, so as I was saying, ninth grade is when I was really starting to take it seriously, really starting to like, man, like I wanna play, you know, basketball throughout my whole high school career or whatnot. And um, so, of course, the school year starts ninth grade, trials are coming up, you got conditioning, workouts and everything, and um, I'm ready to go. So conditioning was the hardest part of the whole thing. I mean, really, like I'm, I feel like I was in shape, I guess, a, Good enough to where I could be ready to go when the season started but you know of course they take you through all the, the crap like running on the track and push-ups and all that which is good when you condition it shouldn't involve like more running and things like that than it does actual basketball like I'm, I know it's conditioning like getting in shape getting ready but like if you're not picking up the ball at least a little bit like doing some drills with the ball it's kind of a waste of time to me but anyways um, for the uh, the most the post part of the conditioning, we didn't even know who the coach was or whatever for our team, um, and we were just kind of going through the motions with whatever this one guy was telling us to do. And then um, one day we eventually got a, a coach that walked in out of the blue sky. And the coach we got anybody who went to my school, or whatever knows what I'm talking about. His name is Coach Reed, and um, yeah. <laughs> so for this next part of the of the video. Um, I don't feel like my words can express enough of what I want to say, so I'm going to take it to pencil and paper, and we're going to draw it out and uh, let you guys see the rest of this story. So let's go ahead and do that. So yeah, the story starts off as um, we started conditioning. Uh, conditioning starts pretty much the, like the third week of school or something like that it runs all the way up to tryouts It's pretty much just getting in shape and getting your body right and everything And of course uh, it's also weeding out the people who can't really run last and all that type of good stuff So um, yeah, it's a lot of running and just basically grunt work You never pick up basketball at least at our condition. It was pretty stupid, but there's me and my boy Clo um, starting out and uh, it was a bunch of other guys out there and uh, it was cool for the first, I mean, for the first couple of days were hard for me because I never done anything like it. And they, they just popped up with this new coach there um, who changed the format of what we were doing with the old guy who was there. But, um, yeah, pretty much it was the same old, same old, just running laps, running miles. And then, you know, just a lot of running, push-ups. And for people who got allergies like me, it wasn't good stuff because we was out there in that grass and my, my nose was out there stuffy and all that type of good stuff. But 
whatever it was all good and i managed to fight through whatever and um yeah but you're always trying to impress the coach during conditioning always always trying to impress the coach so then time goes on um from doing that and um now i go i remember i went home and i told my dad um when i was washing dishes and um, i was telling him how things were going or whatever and i was like hey i want to be the point guard because he asked me what position i wanted to play i've always been a guard i've always been a ball handler um we used to go to la fitness and, and work on you know handling the ball and i think i'm a pretty good ball handler right now but i told him i wanted to be the point guard so um yeah this is now official tryouts has started <laughs> and here's my um terrible drawing of a basketball goal but now official trials have started condition is over and we're actually starting to like work with the balls and everything like that pause so yeah i'm always trying to run the point <laughs> i'm i'm always in the point guard line and you know i'm taking the ball up the court during trials and of course i'm doing my hardest you know what i'm saying i'm playing like you know the best of my ability or whatever and of course you got coaches over there on the clipboard taking down names or whatever he's doing you know what i'm saying being a coach or whatever but trials was basically trials i've been to plenty of basketball trials in my entire life to where i know like what to do or what to expect because you know people are always going to try to like kiss up to the coach and do all that stuff but somewhere along the way like i was going a i guess i was going a little bit too hard because somewhere along the way during the, the tryout period, I actually hurt my leg, my right leg, pretty, pretty bad. Um, to this day, I still don't know what it was, but um, I went to see the team doctor, I remember. Like, well, it wasn't really a team doctor. It was just a person who was always, like, with the athletic director. And he was like, well, let me look at it or whatever. And he was like, oh, well, we don't know. Because it hurt from, like, my shin all the way up to my knee. And he was like, could be a slightly torn meniscus. You might want to look at that. And I never ended up getting it looked out. So I just played through whatever. Because I, I was dedicated to, like, making the team and uh, being the point. So, um, yeah, I pretty much played through it and keep running it anyway. So um, I went through the tryouts. I, I remember sometimes I would stand in the line, like, and I would tell people, like, hey, get in front of me, get in front of me. Because, like, my leg was just hurting so bad. I was literally hobbling on one leg half the time. But, of course, when the official rosters came out, your boy made the team and everything was okay but then you know now i look back and i realized there was way more little politics that go into how they set up the high school basketball teams of course it goes off skill but then there's a few other little things i don't want to get into that determine how certain people make the team but it is what it was me and my friend Chloe both made the team and it was great because i pretty much conquered the first step in what i wanted to do you know, I wanted to be on the basketball team. I got on the team, but now it's time for the real test. It's time to get that PT. And here's where the story starts to go down a little bit. Because as time went on, you know, I was working extremely, extremely hard in practice. And note that my leg was still pretty bad, but I was wearing this little brace thing, like pretty much like a, a, the whole season. Um, just to like keep it better oh and here's the part i tell my mom and dad that i made the team of course and they're happy they're all you know they're cool and everything but the whole time i'm hobbling on my one leg but i'm going real hard in practice because the time in between the practice and the actual game is about for, between like whoever makes the team and the actual game is about a good let's say two weeks or a week maybe it was real it was a quick turnaround so if you wanted to be like you know show show out and like get your pc or whatever you had to you know bring it in practice these two weeks but of course with the coach we had all we pretty much did at practice was run a lot and we really didn't like have time to showcase things but i mean i was still like every time we picked up the ball i was still trying to outshine everybody else and i was still trying to play to the best of my abilities but for some reason it might just seem like the coach would never notice me like i would always you know try to make a play or anything on defense or you know of course i would always try to score but i would always try to do certain things but he would always like never notice me or like a couple other people it seemed like he had like a hand-picked agenda and it was getting kind of frustrating to the point where i was like i'm working hard my legs busted but i'm still working hard so why won't this guy notice what i'm doing you know so um around this time now the first game comes along and of course like he tells he's before the game or the, the last practice he tells us who the starting five is going to be and to not to my surprise but i'm not on the list of the starting five i'm not starting so i'm like okay you know what i mean there's been i've started pretty much all my basketball career but 
there's been some times where I've come off the bench a couple games too. So I'm like, okay, that's cool. I've come off the bench, maybe the first, second person off the bench. It's whatever. And of course, then the game comes, day game one comes, and um, I'm barely getting in the game. He, he tries to play everybody first game, but I'm barely getting in the game the first game. Probably got in for like three minutes. I remember I got in, uh, committed a foul, and then like two plays after that, I was right back out of the game. So I, I never really got an opportunity to show what I could do, but I was, I was like, you know what, whatever, I'm going to keep going in and practice, keep running the plays, whatever, keep doing what I can do to show this guy that I can go. And then, of course, he's sure to catch on eventually that I can play. And then, you know what I'm saying, I'll finally get the PT or whatever. But time went on and practices went on, and um, this guy was just still not noticing, man. He never switched any lineups up. He never made any adjustments. We never added any new plays. We pretty much ran the same stuff. Cause, I mean, it was effective at first, but he never really, like, coached, I would say. He, he was more of, like, just a guy that was there and escalated us, you know, escalated games by, basically, and held the clipboard. But it was just frustrating to me because I felt like I could play and I wasn't playing. And then there was guys who were playing who I felt I was better than. But, of course, if you're on a team, you got to be a team sport. You got to be a cheerleader and cheer these other people on that you felt you were better than. So time goes by and months goes on. And pretty much the whole season, I'm just riding the bench. And this is something new to me because I've never been like a bench rider or whatever. Like I've, in every sport I played, I've always played. So it's really, I started to get like really frustrated and really upset because now at this point, even my parents stopped coming to the games. I would always have to ride home with Chloe and it just wasn't a good time for me because basketball was pretty much taking up my entire mind and life. But like I was getting obsessed with like basketball. Like I was like, man, this guy doesn't think I can play. I'm not playing. I'm half embarrassed because the school's there watching me sit too and i'm just this is not a good thing for me so as time goes by they get really frustrated with basketball and that season goes by and now like i'm the summer comes and i'm like you know what i'm about to put this work in and my whole summer for from ninth to tenth grade year pretty much just becomes basketball and now i'm obsessed with getting in the gym i'm pumping every morning i'm waking up at 8 a.m and i remember this because i'm working i'm like working out every morning at um 8 a.m just trying to get better trying to get better trying to get better i have little clips of some of like the workouts and training that i did that summer to like prepare for the next season Yo. I remember spitting bars, recording tracks in my closet. Now a year later, success is at the door knock. I always laugh at me. They tried to make an ass of me. Now they waving when they passing me. But to listen, L train to Manhattan. I hope I didn't miss it. The shit I used to dream about is really how I'm living. And um like basically just to prove next year to the coach that I can play and I'm gonna go out next year and I'm gonna go harder but lo and behold the next year comes along of all my months of working and <laughs> coach Reed ends up not coming back to coach and um, I never really get that chance to show this guy that I can play and I, I was just afraid. I was mad man I was pretty hot about it but it is what it is some things just didn't work out to where I could actually play that season, so I never actually ended up trying back out for the team. And um, it really sucked though, because I was really like, I don't know if I was upset or frustrated because I had put in all this work, and then like, you know, sometimes things just don't go the way you expect it to go, and uh, sometimes you just gotta be okay with that. But yeah, the good thing about the basketball thing not working out for me was that I found like a new passion or rediscovered a new passion, but of course, with this is what I'm doing right now is the whole YouTube process and creating videos and creating content and of course the fashion thing um, which I want to get more and more and more into and you know start doing stuff with that so um, you know every time things don't work out it's it could be you know a blessing in disguise you may not know because um, you're putting so much focus into one lane one area but in the end there could be something else that could spark your interest and um, you know work out for you in the end so Although I wanted to, you know, be a basketball star, I wanted to, you know, be the guy on the team. I wanted, to, I wanted to play basketball with so much passion. Um, sometimes it wasn't in God's plan. It wasn't in God's plan for me, and He had something else for me. So that's why 
you know, it's best just to, you know, be open. If I say, you know, one more time, I'm ending my whole YouTube channel. But I'm happy that I actually did do, um, like, put so much focus and, like, time into basketball because, you know, I still enjoy basketball to this day. And, um, you know, I still play, of course, as you guys see. I play all the time, my friends. I was supposed to go play today, but it's still fun for me. But, you know, I'm glad I put that much effort into it because it, it showed me, like, a new level of determination to where if I want to get better at something, if I want to complete a task, you know, to, to go do it and, you know, get, get working on it, get cooking up you know what I mean and just go out and go do it so now I want to get better at YouTube I want to be the best YouTuber like I want to be the best basketball player or I want to you know uh, make the best clothes just like I want to be the best basketball player so now that's the new lane I have to go down and I have to keep pushing I have to keep working just like I did back then in order to become you know the best at what this is so yeah that's it for the video guys I hope you guys enjoyed the story I hope you guys enjoyed you know the motivational words I guess I gave but um yeah, be sure to, um, you know, if you're trying to do something, if you're trying to um, play basketball, if you're eighth grade right now, coming up to ninth grade, and you want to play basketball, hey, work at it, you know what I'm saying? Get better, do whatever you need to do. But if it doesn't go your way, that doesn't mean, you know, stop playing and just stop like I did. Because I, honestly, I wish I probably would have went out the next year and the next year. Just keep going and keep going after it, man, until you get there. Because, you know, it's it sucks to now, after the years later, just look back and be like, man, I wish I'd have kept doing this. I wish I'd have kept going when you had the opportunity. But if it doesn't work out, just know that there could be something else that you, you're better at. Or you're, you could be better at if you put as much time as you did into that, into the new thing. So thank you guys for watching. It's John John. And, um... I'm not signing out yet. But yeah, be on the lookout for some more videos uh, next week. Um, we tr it starts the travel season for my summer. I'm going away for a whole week uh, for a family vacation. And then the next week, I'm going away somewhere else. So look, be on the lookout for John John Vlogs episode. Now, what did I call it? Next chapter, episode three, four, five, six, till infinity. We're going to keep pushing on this YouTube thing. And uh, hopefully, we'll see it become full circle very soon. I'm signing out. I'll catch you guys on the next video.